welcome. My name is Harriman Bob and welcome to Bob Buys, where I go to places like charity shops, thrift stores, and retail locations to buy stuff for hopefully really cheap to flip on sites like Amazon, Etsy, and eBay for a profit. I am in Williamsburg. It is Saturday, which means it is sourcing day, and I'm going to go to my favorite hole in the wall here in Williamsburg called a New to You Thrift. Um, last time I was here, I pulled out two pieces of Pendleton, new tags, and a Laura Ashley dress, which I'm still debating on keeping or not. Um, new tags as well. So let's go inside and see if I have the same look this week. So these are some Thompson Grill plates. They're really beautiful. Um, but I don't know enough about them that I can't find any comps to buy them. I found them on replacements, but there was no price on the replacements. So I don't know if I want to take a chance on this, but they are absolutely gorgeous. And speaking of gorgeous plates, look at these. This is my favorite one. These are three for 20. These aren't actually dinner plates. They're just for decorative purposes, but they're from the museum. I really want this because of the cat. Look at it. It's gorgeous. <laughs> But for three for 20, I'm not sure I want to do that either. So I'm going to think about them because they're gorgeous. So per usual, I've had the most luck in clothes. I found this 100% wool handmade in Peru sweater. It's absolutely beautiful. I also found this Ben Sherman Western wear shirt and a pair of Prana flannel line jeans. So this is like 20, 30, and 30. So these are the prices over here, except everything I've grabbed is 25% off. Yay. You might be wondering why I'm back at my office. It's actually because the hole in the wall thrift store is down the street from where I work. Yes, I know. I am incredibly lucky to work at a location where it's just surrounded by thrift stores. It's wonderful. So I decided to come back here and do a haul because I didn't really get to film much more, or I should say any more, in that thrift store due to the fact that the two little old ladies that were there are not the ones that are normally there and I was the only shopper. That almost never happens on Saturday. So you could hear a pin drop <laughs> in that place. So I just felt a little bit weird, like talking about how much I could get for stuff loud enough to where they could hear it. <laughs> so I, I picked up quite a few things. I spent 27, hold on, let me see. I think it's like 20 something dollars. Yes, I spent $27.55 there. I picked up a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, yeah, so I picked up seven things. I don't, did they math wrong? Maybe, let's see, all right. So one of the things I didn't get to show you are some pens. Um, these are, some, it looks like vintage Alaska pins. They were 50 cents a piece. So I just thought it was really pretty. It's Alaska. I love vintage pins, especially like travel pins. Um, and this is a trail pin. So I don't know how much I would get for this. I just thought it was pretty and it's new. And so that's why I bought it. This next one. I bought it is another Alaska pin and I got it because it was it was heckin funny like look at it read it I thought that was super cute so that's part of why I bought that one and uh, so that's also new still on the original packaging I don't know I'd probably get like five to ten dollars for them people who collect pins might also think that's funny and buy it but for 50 cents I'm not losing out on anything and they're like super cheap to ship the next thing I got uh, I was surprised about. So this is a pair of candle holders. A pair is always nice to have with candle holders. They're these really pretty yellow flowers. What I was surprised is that I paid $5 for the pair. And the reason why I'm surprised about that is because they're marked Anchor Hawking. So I'm a little con confused as to why they weren't more expensive. 
but I think I could probably get like 10 to 15 for these and they're really compact so I would be able to do dimensional shipping for these which would be pretty cheap considering how heavy they are for the glassware. So that's three things. The next thing I got is this beautiful vintage cardigan. Oh my goodness. So this is um, Dalton. But look, look at that tag though. So this is cashmere. It's 100% virgin cashmere. It has this beautiful scalloped pattern through here with these like gorgeous little buttons. I'm guessing this is like 50s based on the style of buttons that are on there. Also the tag. Uh, I paid $5 for this. I think I could get 30 or more for that. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. I was very surprised about that. The next thing I was surprised about is this. This is Lily Pulitzer. Oh, I love selling Lily Pulitzer. So I know the tag says eight, but I was actually 25% off. So that means I paid $6 for this, which is about what I would pay at Goodwill for a jacket. I could get probably $40 for this. It has the pink front tie. And the reason why I think I can get that is because everybody likes, like people who like pink really like pink. I've talked about that before. Um, but I think I can get at least like $30 to $40 for this. The next thing I picked up, I did show you guys. Um, this is a Ben Sherman Western Pearl Snap. I know some people have said that, you know, Western wear has slowed down for them. I have not. I have not seen that happen. <laughs> Pretty much if I list anything with Pearl Snaps on it, it, it sells within a week. So if I see something Pearl Snap from a good brand, it has to be a good brand. So like Roper or Ben Sherman, Wrangler, I'm going to buy it. So I can definitely get $20 for that and it should sell pretty quickly and this was also 25% off so I think I pay like 4 bucks for it. I also showed you guys this. This is a pair of Prana which is a yoga brand kind of a yoga lifestyle brand sold in like REI and I bought these because one the brand and two because they're also flannel lined and I didn't see any other comps for flannel lined you see here it's flannel lined flannel lined women's jeans but all the comps I saw for the non lined jeans were like $30 so the hems actually are in really good shape whenever you're buying jeans you should definitely always check the bottom hems because that's where you're going to get a lot of wear at and also like the pockets as well it for men's jeans like where they would have the where people would carry their wallet so all of the regular pants were selling for 30 so I think maybe I can get a little bit more because these are fleece lined and it's still heckin cold outside I think I just dropped something so the last thing I'm going to show you guys is this hundred percent wool handmade in Peru I bought this because this is one of those instances where if something fits me that I like I will totally buy it and wear it until it sells and this is beautiful and it's 100% wool it does need a little bit of uh, fabric shaving love here because it is pilling a little bit but that's really easy for me to fix um, I use a rechargeable fabric shaver, which I will link in the description down below. It is an affiliate link. It is also a more expensive fabric shaver because it's rechargeable. It's a $30 fabric shaver. But I like the sustainability of it being rechargeable and not having to like switch out batteries. You can go to like a Rite Aid or something and buy a $10 fabric shaver, but it's not going to be as good. <laughs> and you're going to have to keep buying batteries for it. So you're really not saving anything. Um, like I said, I'll put a link to it in the description down below. It is rechargeable. That's where the charging port is. And then the cord is still plugged into the wall. It is a USB charger, so you can just plug it into any USB adapter to outlet, or you can actually plug it into your computer to keep a charge. It has this... Ooh, hello. Um, it also comes with extra blades as well, and it has a really nice guard and, like, this fuzzy brush thing so this is one of the this is the shooting um ralph lauren sweater that i got at the thrift store the same thrift store 
a couple weeks ago. I just haven't gotten around to fabric shaving because I wanted to film it. So as you can see here, we have some really massive pills here and this is going to make very short work of that. It's really hard to do this with one hand. But as you can see, they're gone. Those giant pills are now gone. So, and it didn't hurt this at all. So that's why I super recommend this one is because it works amazing even on these larger pills and it'll definitely refresh your knitted fabrics and make them look new and get you that higher price for resale. So again, I will link this in description. Um, like I said, it's about $30, but again, you don't ever have to buy batteries for it and you get extra blades for it when it gets dull and it's awesome. And it also comes with this nice little fabric case. I forgot about that. So if you ever go thrifting on the run, like the college picker does sometimes, see here are the extra blades and attachments that it comes with. You can have a nice little travel bag, or if you're just gonna take it with you and you have big business meeting, you wanna look your freshest. This thing's awesome. So it's one that I would highly recommend, but I'm going to give this a good fabric shaving. I'm going to hand wash this because it says I can. And then I am going to enjoy wearing this until it sells. And it should sell because it's made of 100% wool and it's handmade in Peru. Most of the comps I saw were comping out at like $30 to $40, depending on the pattern. So I am exceedingly pleased with my $27 investment. I mean, even it, with it, excluding the pins and the anchor hawking. I mean, I'm going to make my money back if I sell either of the sweaters or the jacket. <laughs> if I sell one of one piece of clothing, except for maybe the shirt, I'll have made my money back. So... I love this thrift store. Again, if you guys have a hole in the wall near you, I would highly recommend checking it out because sometimes that's where you're going to find the best deals. Um, and I am going to keep going back here probably every two weeks like normal because that's about how their turnaround works. So thank you guys so much for doing a little bit of shopping with me and for watching the haul and for hanging out with me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. Hero, hero. Hero, hero. Hero, hero. I wanna be a hero, hero. Oh, the hero.